Hello, it is I, Joe Java, and I have come to the realization that I will never become the world's greatest Smash Bros. player. But, I will train an amiibo to become the world's greatest Smash Bros. player. Because those who cannot do, teach. And I will teach this amiibo by repeatedly striking him down. Because, if you strike them down, they will become more possible than you can powerfully imagine. And so, we start our first episode of Amiibo Boot Camp. And I know just who to train. Oh my god. Cut it out, Jesus. My man knows how to dash run and that's it. Also, why was he just trying to like pink panther tiptoe on me? What is that range? What the heck? Hey look, a sword character. Uh -huh. We gotta train this boy up some more though. He's not strong enough. What? How is your way? Hold on, no. Okay. Sir. Please stop with the auto run. I know I gave it to you, but good lord, you are using it all the time. Boy. Get out of here. This range is so sad. There we go. Oh, he really just said nah. Get out of here. Forward aerial. Forward aerial. Forward aerial. I'm sad the forward aerial doesn't spike. It's not the funny internet man move. Although I will say he doesn't use Wonder Wing a lot. He just dashes and it's <laughs> kind of the same thing. See? <laughs> Wonder I'm pretty sure my Wonder Wing would beat that, but you know. Oh, he mashed! Like, he really mashed. Sir, please. I implore you. Tactical nuke incoming! Okay, that was just rude. There's a lot of things you could have done in that scenario. What? You... That was so rude! That was so rude! <laughs> he was like, I'm dying, but I'm taking you with me. And it didn't work, but man, can you imagine losing when you thought you had it all? What a legend. <laughs> this thing is so rude. This guy. He freaking file smashed me from below the stage. Whoa. I know I'm like going on about this way longer than I normally would, but like... What the heck? That was so disrespectful. <laughs> Who taught him to be a little no. like this? He, we've, I've known him for 10 minutes. Alright, en enough of you. <laughs> I am deleting you. No. I do like his- I do like it if you send him upward all the way. He just goes, whoa! Well, not like that. I think he's past level 20, so now I have to play other characters. Let's see how well this goes. No, there's no way he actually killed me with that. This is dead, isn't it? No. Dang, my first loss. I've been kind of treating him like a joke, though. Oh, uh, this is why you shouldn't play with your food, kids. You know what? He needs to learn how to fight heavy boys. The Arctic bear versus the Arctic monkey.
Did he like stop running, run again, and then start running, like stop running repeatedly just so he could like hit me multiple times on my shield? What the heck? Bananas! <laughs> Monkey. Um, let's see, what's another? Yeah, another rare character. They'll get along swimmingly, get it? Does Crocodile swim? You keep dash running. Counter. It's not good. You can't keep doing that, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> he he really went for it, and if I hadn't fast fallen, he would have gotten it. Counter. Eventually, he has to get it, right? Like, okay. Also, armor. He needs to learn that armor is a thing. I think another match with King K. Rule is an odor. An odor? An order? <laughs> What in the world? How did, how did my cannonball get stopped by an egg? Counter. Also, cannonball does not be eggs. However, crown does be eggs. Math that out. <laughs> even King Carol's just like, I don't even know how that works. <laughs> just looking around. King yeah, let's show him the king. I have an idea. Oh my god, what the? Just die already, jeez. I'm at 174. How did you even do that? All right, I, I think I figured out his best stage. It's, it's Luigi's Mansion. Okay, that won't kill, because I'm going to slam to the ceiling a thousand times, but you know. Oh yeah, the, the middle part isn't ceiling. Oh my gosh. That was... He just kept comboing me. That level is terrifying against him. Cause he will rack up percent like it's no one's business. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I really taught him much on that last one. Forever. <laughs> yeah. All right, bring it on, Banjo. I mean, it's probably just because I know what to look out for. Yep. Oh, oh my God! Did you see that? I didn't. I didn't take the wall bounce, and he like immediately grabbed me off the wall bounce into like a his uh, down throw. He waited. He waited. That's so rude. And my smash wouldn't hit him. 
every fight comes down to like a total slobber knocker with this guy. He keeps thinking his dash run, like, because it's a hitbox, he's safe with it all the time. I'm trying to teach him out of that. He uses it a lot. He also tries to grab me out of it, which means he's waiting for me to shield. Which is ironic, because I'm I don't shield ever. Slobber knocker. That's for primary time. <laughs> nah, it's, it's slobber knocker, you know. Back in the good old twenties when they had they they comcasted boxing matches. And he f and he maxed out his level. I can still defeat this banjo. So I don't know if he's worthy of being my successor, but he does put me on my toes. So I will now defeat him. I will now put him to the true test. I don't know what I'm more mad about. The fact that he's charging his smash attacks or the fact that I'm getting hit by those charged smash attacks. Yeah, he left himself way too open. Oh my god, he got me up in the air. I'm dead. Pink Mac only. Yeah, but like in the video games, he's wearing red and blue. That's his like world championship outfit. Wow, this is the first time he ever ran away from me. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to win, and I'm going to need a new successor besides Ban Kanjo and Kazoo. <laughs> he just stood there! He's like, what are you doing, man? You thought I wouldn't go off stage because I'm Little Mac? You're a fool. Well, chat, so closes another story. For this AI was not strong enough to defeat me, and so I must find another worthy successor.